Okay, number six in your classwork for quadratic functions asks you to find uh, the axis of symmetry, the vertex, and y-intercepts, and then uh, analyze the other aspects. So here we have y equals negative 2x squared minus 6x minus 3. Uh, I went ahead and made a table of x values. So I went from negative 4 going up by integers to 1. So uh, we can uh, graph this. So we have uh, negative 4, negative 11, which is off the graph somewhere over here. Uh, negative 3, negative 3, negative 2, uh, 1. Then we have uh, negative 1, 1. We have 0, negative 3, uh, 1, negative 11. So that, again, that would be off the graph. And so our uh, parabola opens uh, this way. Uh, and meaning that it opens downwards. So our end behavior is decreasing on both the left and right sides. Uh, but getting too ahead of ourselves. Uh, so first, the axis of symmetry occurs at uh, when x equals negative b over 2a. So that's uh, negative uh, b is negative 6 over 2 times uh, negative 2, which is negative 3 halves. Uh, our x value for uh, when we plug in negative 3 halves for x, our y value is 3 halves. So that gives us our vertex over here, which is at 3 halves. Uh, so the axis of symmetry occurs at x equals negative 3 halves. Our vertex is negative 3 halves, 3 halves. And our y-intercept, so when uh, x equals 0, we have uh, that... <coughs> Uh, y equals negative 3. Okay, so now we can go ahead and analyze the domain. So our domain extends from negative infinity to infinity for x. Our range comes from, since it opens downward, so we go from negative infinity all the way to the max, which is at 3 halves. Um, this, okay, so our vertex we know is a maximum. Our x-intercepts, so that's when y equals 0, we need to solve for. So that's uh, 0 equals negative 2x squared minus 6x minus 3. <coughs> um, just judging from the graph, these aren't going to be nice numbers, so we probably need to use the quadratic formula for this. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, do negative, negative 6 plus or minus square root of 36. Uh, minus 4ac, which is negative 2 times negative 3, over 2a, which is negative 2. So then we have x equals 6 plus or minus the square root of uh, 36 minus uh, 4 times 2 times 3, which is 24. So then we have square root of 10 over negative 4. And so, uh, yeah, these, these don't come out as uh, nice numbers. Uh, so we can just leave that in the radical form. Uh, it doesn't really matter that, all that much. Uh, so we have 6 uh, plus square root of 10 over negative 4, 0. And then we have the other x-intercept at 6 minus square root of 10 over negative 4. Our y-intercept uh, we know from before is 0, negative 3. And our end behavior, or if it's increasing or decreasing, uh, so the function is increasing uh, when we approach from negative infinity to this point at the vertex. So that's from uh, negative infinity to negative 3 over 2. And it's decreasing after that vertex all the way on towards x is positive infinity. Uh, so writing that, and then we have uh, odd, even, or neither. So that is referring to the symmetry of the function. So if it was even, it would be perfectly symmetrical over the y-axis, uh, which it is not, because if we reflect the function across the y, we would get a different uh, looking image. And it is not an odd function, because if we rotate it by 100 degree, 180 degrees, 
write this uh, function, we would have to redraw somewhere over here that would like extend uh, up that way. So um, it would not look the same. So we have neither for this. And we already said our end behavior is uh, decreasing both on the left and right.